Okay there folks, um, you're probably wondering why I'm doing a reaction to an IGN video. I think you can guess. Now, a little while ago, the trailer for the new Sonic the Hedgehog, I'm going to position my webcam over there a second. The new Sonic the Hedgehog trailer debuted with the new render design and it was vast improved over the last iteration as we can see here I mean Sonic looks more like Sonic now I could see what they were trying to do but this was how you know you appease people halfway because like I say he actually looks like himself now and the fact that he had Tyson Hess work on it just speaks volumes now Again, you're wondering why IGN. Well, you know that distinguished expression, open, poor, be yourself once more? IGN had to go and be IGN. So I have not seen the nugget of fail that's about to, uh, that's about to occur. But I'm curious. What's up, everybody? I'm Francesca Rivera, filling in for Sydney Goodman. Today's Daily Fix is presented by GameStop. We've got Sonic's slick new design, Disney Plus's failure to launch, and we're taking a look at the okay, new raid and training video's system fine in so Pokemon far. Sword and Shield. Hit the header or whatever. A new trailer for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie dropped this morning. Uh, oh dear. Meow. But he doesn't look like he did then, now. This trailer features Sonic's redesign after the poor reception of the first design in earlier trailers almost one year ago. I will agree. First and foremost, I truly want to give props to director Jeff Fowler and the VFX artists for their diligent hard work to appease the big man babies out there. And you gone and goofed. Okay. Um, you were doing fine. You were doing just fine until you said man babies. It's like the expression that's been around on the internet since 0607. You can't spell ignorance without IGN. Folks, this is the same problem that the Ghostbusters marketing campaign, Captain Marvel, and it also seems Terminator Dark Fate and the BBC all seem to have in common at the moment. They go... Get, they go get too opinionated and insult their target demographic. What this lady's just done, you know, by saying that the core demographic of Sonic fans are overgrown man babies. Um, okay, this is where I might give her the benefit of the doubt. For all we know, she's probably reading off a teleprompter. And if it's someone else's words, then, you know, for shame, the person who's actually feeding her uh, all of this hot garbage. But I appreciate that you have to be an informative, entertaining channel, but you can be informative and entertaining without being condescending and patronizing. And obnoxiously, I might add, too. Because, you know, IGN has this really nasty history of doing exactly as GameTrailers.com did and just insult the Sonic fan base. It's like, guys, <laughs> we get it. You don't like Sonic. You know, if you don't like it that much, just do an article where you talk about it and then you move on to something else. But no, uh, you chose to insult the fan base, and you wonder why that you receive the backlash that you get over the course of like the last, particularly like in the last three to four years, where you had that panel. I think it was 2016, 2017, where they said, you know, Sonic's never really been that popular. <laughs> I think quite a few fans over the last nearly near 30 years would beg to differ. And they can never understand, you know, why Sonic would go blasting through the Green Hill Zone on Sonic 2. Okay, clearly you have not been doing your fact-checking again. 
I have because I'm a nerd is what I do. And clearly you would be too if you actually did your fact checking for once. But, you know, IGN, ignorance, fail. Sonic 1 featured the Green Hill Zone. Sonic 2 was Emerald Hill. Huge difference. Emerald Hill was more of a tropical paradise with the palm trees and what have you, whereas Green Hill had more of a forest look to it. Particularly if you look at things like with regards to the trees and what have you, it's more they're more like a redwood thing, whereas Emerald Hill is, you know, right along the coast. And, you know, it's, it's like I say, I get it. They don't like Sonic. They don't talk about it. That's why I still can't understand to this day why some people still complain about Sonic 06. It's like, you know, one or two years afterwards, you know, get I get it, it's fine. But it's coming up for 13 years. It's like, people, move on. All right. Just to, to finish up, uh, you know, let the lady uh, finish up what she's saying because... Oh, boy. I personally have no affiliation to the games or the TV show, so the original design didn't bother me too much. The world just wasn't ready for a humanoid Sonic, and it shows. I will agree but on I that. But I will admit that this new design is much cuter and probably yep. won't terrify children as much. Agreed. Sonic also seems to have gotten a nice tan over the course of a year, which I would also do if I took a year off to work on myself. Also, Jim Carrey's Dr. Robotnik looks so funny and full of great one-liners that I just can't wait to use as reaction gifts on the internet. I'm glad that this whole thing is sorted out because I just want James Marsden back on my screen. Now, after this Sonic snafu, let's see if there's hope for this other primary huge speedster whose movie's in purgatory, <coughs> The Flash. Well, what do you think of this new redesign? Tell us in the comments below. Sonic the Hedgehog comes out in theaters February 14th, 2020. I don't need to go looking into Disney Plus because I've been very adamant that Unless they bring She-Hulk, uh, the TV series, out onto DVD and Blu-ray, uh, Spider-Man Far From Home will be my last foray into the MCU. Uh, the only things I agree with is that the original design was Nightmare Fuel, and the new design is much in line and much closer to Sonic's classic design. The only other things I agree with is that Jim Carrey looks like he's having fun, and is likely to be a good performance for Robotnik. That's about it. But she just came across as being really patronizing and condescending. And it's not looking good for IGN. Not that that should surprise anyone. I just think that... Um... <sighs> yeah. I feel like I've said everything I need to... If, I don't know if I'll put this up on what on on YouTube, but leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think.